Hello, my friends. We're finally there. I know everyone's had a lot of, of election fatigue. Uh, I've been feeling it. The, the coverage has been overwhelming, and there's been far too much of it. So everyone's just pretty much sick and tired of this election. And we're here. We're on the day. Um, go and vote. Just one last thing to do. There's no more debates. There's no more ads. There's no more lies from either side. All there is is just your vote. And it matters. It matters every time. But it, I feel like it really, really matters this time. <clears throat> this election has shown us that there's, a, there's quite a few problems with the process. Um, how... Well, first of all, the two-party system is just flawed. Because you end up having just by nature opposing sides and uh, so whatever your view is I'm the opposite and they don't share views because they have to have a distinct line between them distinct line between them so that they're the people voting for them know who they want to go for well they are about this issue like abortion for instance I know that I'll vote for a Republican because they're anti-abortion or um, I'll vote for a Democrat because they are pro women's rights clear cut split um, you're not gonna in a two-party system you're not gonna find a candidate that gets up there and goes well, I don't know I just let's find out what the people want and let, let the states decide or no it's just like I have to take a stance so it, you end up having a bunch of people that are representing beliefs that they might not 100% believe just so they can get voters that's why the two-party systems flawed and sure the electoral college Super flawed. Um, popular vote doesn't decide the election. We saw that uh, Al Gore versus George Bush, that even with a slight advantage in popular vote, what matters was the electoral college. According to USA Today and factchecker.org or some crap, uh, the reason that the Constitution calls for this extra layer, the electoral college, rather than just providing the direct election to the president, is that most of the nation's founders were actually rather afraid of democracy. James Madison worried about what he called factions, which he defined as uh, groups of citizens who had a common interest in some proposal that would either violate the rights of other citizens or would harm the nation as a whole. Madison's fear, which Alexis de Ducauville uh, later dubbed the tyranny of the majority uh, was that a faction would grow to encompass more than 50% of the population at which point it could sacrifice its ruling passion or interest both uh, the public in both the public good and the rights of other citizens so I guess the founding fathers claimed that the electoral college was put in place um, to preserve the sense of the people you could argue, then, that this Tea Party, Fox News movement that is potentially damaging to the way we do democracy is the sole purpose of why we have an electoral college. <laughs> Jordan and I recorded for like an hour and a half a long over a bottle video about this election and um, about our feelings about uh, good old Donnie Trump. And I felt like, while I was editing it, that for a few reasons I didn't post it. And I think I'd like to explain that a little bit right here. I feel as though um, we're oversaturated with talk of Donald Trump, and so I didn't want to give him any more time. How are we any better than CNN or Fox News if we're just also dumping the same information on people, just putting a different face expressing that information? That is no better. And it opens up people's opinion, or opens up, what it did was it opened up us to everyone to show everyone our opinions, and that's fine, and you can ask me my opinion on this election anytime you want, um, but I just thought that sitting down for a half hour, <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sick today, um, sitting down and bashing a candidate for a half hour on YouTube was 
more damaging to my potential career than it could be to his campaign. So, what's the point? Why did I turn the camera on? Uh, today is a very important day, day today. Go and vote. I don't, regardless of who you're voting for, go and vote. I mean, it's important to be a part of democracy. Now, we, did, we, we highlighted some problems within the system, two-party system, electoral college, you know, not relying on the, on the masses to decide what's good for them. Yes. Those are problems. However, democracy is still somewhat of a unique gift um, in human history. As a country, you know, we're 250-some years old. Less than that. Over 200 years. As a country, we're over 200 years old. That's not that long ago in human history. So, you I mean, we weren't there. We weren't alive. But it was just a blink of time away that you didn't have a choice on anything. So, yes, the system's flawed. Let's work on fixing that. But don't rebel completely against it. Get out there and vote. It does matter. Plus, there's more stuff on there. There's there's Measure Four, uh, which is about a like a 400% increase on cigarette tax, um, which you must have an opinion of whether or not you think tobacco products should go up 400% or not. So go vote. If you live in North Dakota, we have medical marijuana on the ballot. Go vote. Uh, governor's seat is open. We got Doug Burgum. Every Everywhere you turn is a Doug Burgum sign. But, anyway. <clears throat> um, hi, Michelle. <coughs> Get out and vote. There's a governor race. There's medical marijuana. There's tobacco tax. A lot more stuff um, than just the presidency. So, Get out and vote. Your vote matters. Um, yeah. You can't complain unless you're an active participant. Or at least I won't listen to you and your complaints unless you're an active participant. All right. I'll see you guys tonight. Jordan and I are doing a live Q&A. Okay. Um, my chest hurts. I keep coughing, hacking up lung. I think I'm going to take some vitamin C. And um, I will talk to you fellers. Uh real soon. Get up and vote. Okay. Peace. Hi. Sorry. I told you to call me and then I didn't answer. That's okay. Are you sick? I am sick, but I'm still working. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah. It's okay. Are you at home though? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spread it around. <laughs>